So we now have this expression for the current flowing in the drain or flowing through the channel as a function of VDS for small values of VDS. In this video, we're going to take a look at well, what is the effect of the gate voltage, the voltage on the gate on this constant or this, uh, this term that we're calling the conductance. You'll notice here that as VGS increases, going from VGS being less than or equal to the um, to the uh, threshold voltage, no current flows for any value of VDS. As VGS increases to some amount over the threshold voltage, we then start getting current flowing and we see that current is a function of VDS. So each of these different lines represents a different um, current voltage relationship, and it depends upon V or on GDS, which is again that case of N times the overdrive voltage. So what this is saying is that as we continue to increase the voltage at the gate above the threshold voltage, more and more current is able to flow for a given VDS. In other words, the conductance of the channel continues to increase. The conductance of the channel continues to increase. And in fact, this slope is, the slope of this line is the conductance. And as we pointed out before, the current then is just equal to the conductance times VDS. And of course, the conductance is dependent upon the value of VGS. Now we can take one over the conductance and get resistance, R sub DS, and what we realize then is that the current I sub D is equal to 1 over R sub DS times V D S. In other words, when the voltage V D S is relatively small, this field effect transistor serves as a voltage controlled resistance, where the lower the gate voltage, the greater the resistance. That should be fairly intuitive. As the gate voltage gets greater, it draws more electrons into the channel and makes, in fact, makes the channel deeper. So that the greater VGS, the more current capacity the channel has, or the field effect transistor has, thus the conductance is greater, or the resistance is less. And there's that one over, there's that inverse relationship between the conductance and the resistance of the channel.